Hi, my name is Cliff Patterson, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the LunaMap application during this presentation. What is LunaMap? LunaMap is a cloud native enterprise mapping system that was developed by Luna Geospatial. Um, it's built for and integrates with PostGIS and GeoServer. Uh, it's easy to use, it's a powerful solution, uh, it's mobile friendly, and it's transparently priced for small and medium sized enterprises. Um, when we built this, we really wanted this not to be like other SaaS applications. We wanted to give users, especially smaller enterprises, organizations, nonprofit organizations, unlimited users, workspaces, maps, and layers. And this is what we built. And this is the sort of uh, people that we built it for. All right, I'm going to talk just a little bit about the backend configuration um, for this application. And all this will make a lot more sense once we get to the actual pricing and the different editions that we have for LunaMap. All right, when we put together a very typical stack for um, our enterprise GIS servers, we always start with Postgres and PostGIS. We also install GeoServer onto our cloud-based servers. Now with that, of course, we're able to connect via QGIS um, to both of these applications on the server. Most of the time we put all vector-based data um, within the Postgres server, all raster data is gonna live within GeoServer. We'll also publish uh, a number of vector layers to the GeoServer. And this really just keeps staff happy. They're able to connect, you're able to have unlimited you know, installations of QGIS, of course, um, connect to the server. And it's really a cost-effective solution. But the problem here is that there's no web map application. For web maps, it's really quite useful within um, these, you know, within any organization to be able to share your geospatial data um, on the web. So you want to have. So what we did is we built LunaMap um, to satisfy this need, um, and. For the most part, um, a lot of our clients are using LunaMap internally. They're creating maps and they're sharing it with non-GIS staff within the organization where they can interact quite easily um, with the geospatial data. But another way that a lot of our clients are using this, and really the, re the reason why we built this, is to allow people to actually share their geospatial data with their own clients um, or other stakeholders on a project. Um, so with this application, you're actually able to open it up because you have unlimited users and unlimited workspaces and everything, which I'll get into explaining what that means. You're able to share your GIS data to everyone. Okay, so I want to start at the top in terms of the hierarchy of how LunaMap is put together and talk about organizations. Now, in LunaMap, an organization is a completely private instance of LunaMap. All data and users are isolated within that organization. So really we're deploying it and, and everything that we share within that workspace is completely private from any other workspace. It gets a custom URL. Um, you can brand it if you wish. You can change the color. You can add a, your own logo. You can add your own text on the login screen. And the nice thing is that if you're an enterprise client, you get access to three organizations. And the neat part about this is that you could actually create a whole web application or a web map application for one of your clients. You can actually charge them too. Our license allows you to actually sell this to your clients. So this is what a typical uh, setup looks like for an enterprise client, is you have your own GeoServer, Postgres, and PostGIS that sits on top of your, um, your Luna Geo server. And with that, we create three organizations. So here are just three examples. So organization one, organization two, and organization three. We give them each their own URL. So we have map.example.com, we have map.acme.com for organization two, and, and the most amazing one, of course, is supermap9000.io, which is your organization three. Completely different, completely isolated. Now, for organization one, we're able to create an unlimited number of workspaces. Likewise, for organization two, we're able to create an unlimited number of workspaces. And for organization three, we're able to also create an unlimited number of workspaces. So you can see in this way that by, by having these different organizations, you're able to really isolate your data. You're able to um, um, create something that's very unique for each one of your deployments. Okay, so let's get into this concept of workspaces then within the context of LunaMap. 
So for in Lunamap, a workspace is, is where we share layers. Um, we also create maps within the workspace. We add users to the workspace. And the nice thing about Lunamap is that you can create an unlimited number of workspaces. The other nice part about it is that they can be both private and public. So a very good example would be something like a municipality. A municipality might want a whole bunch of internal maps that aren't exposed to the public and they just want to share them internally. So the parks department is going to be able to have access to a bunch of parks maps and the engineering department is going to have access to a bunch of engineering maps. But they also want a public web map application. So within every organization within Lunamap, we're able to make one workspace public. And in that, so again, back to the you know local government example, you might have a, a map that just has your parcel data set. You can zoom in, you can click on it, and maybe you can get some taxation information. Um, you might also have a map for parks within your municipality and you're able to, you know, users are able to search for a park and find out information and find out what resources are available at these individual parks. Um, it's really a powerful way to be able to sort of divide information. What's really nice also is that when we do end up sharing layers and in some of the tutorials that we'll be releasing, we'll show you how to do this. Um, you're actually able to share layers across entire workspaces. So imagine something like, you know, you have you have water courses for all of Canada. Well, you want to share those across all your clients because you work with clients across Canada. So you could just have to publish that layer once and then share it across all your workspaces. OK, what about maps? So when we're creating maps within Lunamap, we can create an unlimited number of them. Um, we create maps within a workspace. So maps definitely live within that workspace. We can toggle map visibility in a workspace. So if you do create something, you don't have to share it with the entire workspace. You can just create a map, do your work within um, that map. Once it's perfect and you're ready to release it to the rest of the workspace, you then release it and everybody who's a member of that workspace will then be able to see that map. We also built in a really nice save as functionality. So if you do have sort of a custom base map that you're going to use for um, your maps that has, you know, all the basic layers that you're planning on using, you can simply use save as to make a copy of that and then modify it as needed. We've also included a search or filter um, to find your maps. Um, there is a toggle at the top left where you can simply select my maps and the only maps that will show up uh, in the map tool are the ones that you've created. Likewise, you can use the search tool, um, the search line, to simply search for a map by name or description. What about tools? We built Lunamap to be simple. This is what we wanted to build. We didn't want to build something that was going to try to replicate a desktop tool completely. We wanted something that, you know, would satisfy the needs of 90% of your organization. Your advanced users are going to use advanced tools. This is the way it works. Your advanced users are going to use photogrammetry tools or QGIS to do advanced level analysis. This is a tool to share geospatial data on the web. So what we built was this. We have layer management. We're able to manage the layers that are shared between workspaces. We have a base map switcher where you can load any XYZ tile into the application. We have, we have the tool to identify features and easily switch between layers. If you want to identify a parcel and then identify a park and then identify a water course, it's really quite simple to tell the application which layer should be the active one. We have a search and zoom tool where we can define uh, whatever fields within a layer, we can define which fields are going to be searchable. So if we have something like a parcel data set, we can search just the roll number or just the address, and those results will show. We have a print to PDF tool, so you can zoom into a certain area, give it a title, give it a description, and print that, uh, that map. We have a map notes tool that allows you to, to annotate the map, leave notes on. Um, we're building that out a little bit more to allow users to actually reply to notes so that it can be a little more interactive. We also have an attributes table um, that allows you to create custom filters um, on the attributes table and the map updates as you do this. Lastly, we have our admin tools. So everything you see within the application, the maps, the tools, the users, the map notes, um, you're able to manage that from the admin interface. So what's coming to Lunamap? So in 2024, we're hoping to um, 
uh, we're, the next task we're working on right now is just developing custom layer styles. Right now we're styling layers through GeoServer. So if you are publishing a layer to GeoServer, you do have to have a style within GeoServer. But we're going to give you the ability to also style layers or create additional styles for a layer within the application itself. We're planning on building a couple of BI tools, give you the opportunity to maybe create a couple of graphs and load them onto your maps. We're going to do advanced map notes, which I mentioned just a few moments ago, which gives you the ability to, to comment. Um, we're also going to give you the ability to draw both lines. Right now it's just points, but we're going to give you the ability to draw lines and polygons on the map and leave notes as such. We're incorporating a few terrain analysis tools into the application. Nothing incredibly complex, but things like a cross-section tool. We're going to give you the ability to control layer downloads. Um, so if you do want to turn this into an application where you can actually users can go in on a public web map and actually download the layers themselves, we're giving you that capability. Um, we're also including feature and layer attachments into the application. So a good example of this would be um, for a feature, you might have a parcel data set and there's been some surveys conducted on that properties and they're saved in PDF format. You can attach that to the individual feature. Whereas a layer attachment, um, you're able to actually um, apply something like for a soil study, let's say, um, you can apply the whole, uh, attach the whole survey study to the uh, individual feature. We're also going to give API access. Um, again, this kind of touches on our sort of um, um, feelings towards typical SaaS pricing, but I don't, I don't think API access should really be limited to just sort of the top tier um, of your, your SaaS model. So really any tier is going to have access to their API to interact with their data. Um, so we're going to incorporate all this in, in 2024. Plus we have a backlog of other ideas and we're also working a lot with our clients right now to find out exactly what they want um, and specific tools they'd like to see within LunaMap. All right, additions and pricing. This will help sort of clarify uh, how we price this, um, why we priced it as such, and what features are available within each tier. So we work with a number of clients who are who don't have you know a GIS expert on staff. They don't have anybody to do any any type of you know data analysis, but they need maps. They need to share maps. Either they're a small municipality and they just need to share maps on the web, um, or they're they're a nonprofit organization. They want to be able to show you know a map showing bird sightings across their area of interest. Um, this is edition is for them. This edition is for somebody who just needs to be able to put the data that they have on the web and make it accessible both to their internal staff and to the public. It's completely managed by Luna Geospatial. You get the same thing that every other edition has. Um, you get unlimited users, workspaces, layers, and maps. You get access to all tools. We don't put any limits whatsoever on the tools for the different tiers. Um, we give you 25 gigs of storage, so you can just hand us whatever data you have and we'll load it up there. If you need more, we can expand this for a fee, of course. Um, and you get custom branding and URL. So this isn't something that we reserve just for the upper tier. Anybody can have their own custom branding. And with this, of course, you get one organization. Now the price for this is $2.99 per month or $29.90 per year. So you get two months free um, if you go for an annual license. Um, we also, I should mention, is that we also have a trial edition out. If you're interested in that, head over to Luna, uh, lunamap.io and we can have a little chat about that. Just request a demo or send us a, an email. All right, let's talk about the cloud edition. So this edition is actually shared host, hosting, but it's BYO, um, Postgres, and GeoServer. Um, we have a number of clients who maintain their own Postgres and GeoServer, and they simply don't want to migrate to a Luna GeoServer, which is completely fine, but they want to be able to use uh, LunaMap. All we do is connect your Postgres and your GeoServer into LunaMap, and then you have access to the entire application. And again, like all editions, you get unlimited users, workspaces, layers, and maps. You get access to all tools. Um, you can have custom branding and a URL like every other edition. And with this, of course, you get one organization. Now, the price for this is $4.99 per month um, or $4,990 per year. Okay, top tier, um, Enterprise Edition. Now, uh, this is privately hosted, all right? So this is 
for people who already have clients who already have a Luna Geo GIS server. We can install Luna Map onto that server and give you access to your own completely private instance of Luna Map. You get unlimited users, unlimited workspaces, layers, maps, everything is available to you within the application. Of course, all tools, custom branding and URL. But here's the difference. Um, with the Enterprise Edition, because you have your own server and we're not competing for resources in any way with other clients, um, you get three organizations and you can add to that too. Um, so for a small fee, you can add additional organizations. So again, I said at the beginning, we built this for people who have their own clients, consultancies, archaeology companies, um, environmental uh, management companies. Um, these are organizations that might want to create their own entirely private um, um, deployment of LunaMap. And this is for you. So this allows you to actually do that um, within your company and then manage them centrally from the same database server. So for this, you're getting it for $6.99 per month or $6,990 per year um, um, if you want to pay annually. All right, so to get started, head over to lunamap.io. Um, you can book a demo with me if you'd like um, from the website. You can message us if you have some questions, if you want me to elaborate on something. Um, I'd love to hear from you and get some input. Um, head over to lunamap.io.